So look guys, we have the Galaxy Book Flex 2 here with us for the last previous six weeks and we must say, we really like the device a lot. But, but look, thermal throttling is real and the question we have is how much does it affect your performance moving forward like on a daily basis and what will the trade-off be for you guys as a consumer? And that's what we're going to get in today and yes, there will be one big trade-off, just saying. And I'm going to make you a deal. We're going to look at the i7 today and afterwards we're going to look at the i5 version and then we're going to compare them to to give you the most best possible guidance we really can and i'm starting with the i7 and i'm going to try to replicate a normal day live usage 20 chrome tabs open fortnite running in the background not sure if that's daily usage but i'm going to really put it to the test office work you name it i'm going to have two separate tools to measure all of the temperatures and everything else number one is a core temperature tool that really goes in deep for every single core we have a four core here the other one you probably know that's the Intel Power Gacha tool, I think that's the right name, and that gives you the small long one down, and that really gives you a good overview of what's happening here today. So the base speed for the i7 is 2.8 gigahertz, and you can see when I start up Fortnite, it is going into peak territories here already, and there's a but, there's a big but. No, let me change the wording, not the big but. However, this all of this is going to change in the first half of my testing today, and you're going to see this shortly. And opening and running Fortnite seems to take a lot of power but what you can see already is the temperature overall it's not really getting that high and when double checking with the temperature core tool you can see right here that it is is pretty much in line with all four cores so what is going on here well there's one thing we can do to really figure this one out and we're going to put some more stress on this machine here in addition to fortnite i open about 20 chrome tabs and then adobe lightroom i even started playing videos on each chrome tab going to youtube and i noticed the clock speed dropping below base frequency and mm, the temperature was really consistent also and look this is almost like a really healthy straight line here right so i wanted to check the task manager and really let me see what windows tells me you can see the utilization is high but we have some wiggle room here to go up according to the task manager and looking at the intel tool itself it was still below base speed all the time and the temperature was freakishly consistent like it's not really getting that hot. So I thought we're gonna have to get this machine to a breaking point. What's the point of doing the test if nothing is happening here, right? So I did more Office application. I pretty much opened all the single Office application you can have installed on your machine. So let's see what happens here. And once I did, my clock speed was still below base. And looking at the temperature diagram, it looked a very healthy line, like a really good ECG. However, the task manager showed me some reasonable utility utilization not really that high but reasonable so i still don't know what's going on and i thought to myself i cannot stop here right how what's the point point? and knowing really well that fortnite opening up fortnite really takes a lot of juice takes a lot of power that's what i did i closed fortnite and had all the other applications running in the background all, all i told you the chrome tabs playing videos all the office application and then i restarted fortnite and finally we could see some movement now you can see the clock speed going up even the temperature is moving up slightly but it is very controlled which brings me to the big trade-off coming now and it really depends on you if you see this as a trade-off it is the fan so the good news is that the galaxy book 2 the galaxy book flex 2 is built in a way that it can absorb the power of the i7 however during the process you better you better you better get used to the fan speed and sound and noise and everything there is to do with this fan noise. So I've got a Galaxy Book Flex 2 here in front of me. I'm gonna open up, well, why don't I open up Fortnite? I know this is gonna be a huge test. So no noise now, opening up Fortnite. So I'm gonna put it down. I don't know if you can still hear it, but this is pretty much a sound you have to get used to all the time. And it is going up and down. Um, depending on your workload. But there's more, stay with me, stay with me. There's much more to come. And after my test, I closed every single application I had open on this machine and I kind of monitor the laptop as you do, right? But 
out of the blue, the fans starting spinning like there is no tomorrow. So I got my phone out here and took the following footage. And you can see here, I had a pretty steep increase on the Intel Power Gadget tool for pretty much everything, even though everything was closed and it was starting to get higher than for any test before, bearing in mind that every single application is or was closed. So look, I even checked the task manager to give me that peace of mind. I wanted to see if there is something secretly running in the background that really takes all the juice away, right? You just don't know with Windows sometimes. So I checked it, but there wasn't anything visible or spectacular going on. And I just couldn't figure out what happened here. And then it came to me. Yes, it did come to me. It came to me. Once I unplugged the power cable, I unplugged the power cable from this machine. Everything stopped. It's going back to normal, which means yes, once you plug it back in and you start charging your device, it will go bananas. So I think it almost stopped. Let me see. Still there. So all the applications are closed still there. I want to um, really have it stopped so you guys can see what happens when I plug the power cable in. We got it. Let me see. This is a live test. Well, as live as it gets. So basically, this is what happens when you plug it in. And when you unplug it, it doesn't stop like right away, but it will stop after a while. Oh, it's, it's, I think it stopped already. So you've seen it like as live as it gets, right? But this is what happens basically. This is what I'm trying to talk about to you guys that you really have to bear in mind this is going to be the one big trade off for you here. So, my friend Google and I started searching for some similar common problems, and we could find a lot of these complaints in Samsung forums, and they had pretty much the same issue. And I was looking into this if this is just for the Flex 2, pretty much for all the Flex lineup, depending on the processor, of course. And that's why we want to have the i5 later come in to see if there's the same issue. But it is a very different experience, I have to say, from what I'm used to. You have to look at this from a different angle also. You could say, okay, I'm going to turn off the machine. Yes, that is valid. But what about a monitor that also charges your Flex 2, right? And you plug it in, you just want to have a second monitor, a big screen, and suddenly the fan starts spinning. You unplug it, you have no monitor that will charge your device, but then the fan stops. So once it is fully charged, it will also stop, but then you start working, right? You want to start working, and every time you open up that is, is something, well, powerful or heavy, the fence will just come back on. So you plug it in. Let's say you have a monitor, you plug it in, you charge it, and then you work. It will be on pretty much all the time. You do have one option, and that is the Samsung app that comes pre-installed with all the Galaxy uh, Book devices, especially here for the Flex 2, and that is called Silent Mode. And you will see this in all the Samsung support forums, and the Samsung support will also tell you this as a viable option. And whilst it is a viable option, all it means it will go back into battery saving mode. It's kind of power saving mode, which is an option you have in Windows anyway, and you don't have all the power, as it says, it's a power saving mode. So there's that. Okay, beside the fan noise, I'm gonna park it right here. This is the fan noise area, right? Beside that, in terms of performance, I wanted to give you that update as well. At no point did I have the feeling that it cannot handle what I've thrown at it. You've seen I put it to a lot of stress, but it handled it really, really well. And we have the i5, this is the i7, we have the i5 on back order, and we will compare both of them and we're gonna give you that guidance. So if you like what we do, don't hesitate, don't be shy. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we're like that. And next video, you will find out which one is better for you, the i5 or the i7. Thank you for watching. Peace out.